In 2014, F1 enters a new era. For the first time in the history of the sport, cars will be powered by both fuel and electrical energy. Produced by avant-garde power units. No longer just an engine, the power units combine turbocharged V6 internal combustion engines with powerful energy recovery systems. Two motor generator units, or MGUs, harvest energy from heat in the exhaust and recover mechanical energy during braking. The systems work in harmony, with cars balancing the two types of energy throughout the race. Both MGUs are coupled to the turbo engine and packaged within the chassis. Under acceleration, the internal combustion engine works at full speed, with the turbocharger rotating at close to 100,000 RPM. The MGU-H, H for heat, works as a generator and recovers energy from the exhaust, which exits from one centrally located exit. This energy is passed either to the battery store, where it will be stored for use later in the lap, or to the MGU-K, K for kinetic. The MGUK, which is connected to the crankshaft of the engine, acts as a motor and delivers additional power. When the driver brakes at the end of the straight, the MGUK converts to a generator and recovers energy from the braking event. This energy will be stored in the battery for later use in the lap. After a hard braking event, engine speed drops and the rotational speed of the turbo also falls. To avoid turbo lag when the driver gets back on the power, the MGUH acts as a motor to keep the turbo turning at high speed. Such complex exchange of energy is controlled by electronic control systems with certain driver-operated modes to allow strategic flexibility and occasionally a boost of power when overtaking. Potent energy recovery systems and restrictions on fuel flow rate
these two jars of honey came out of that beehive there without opening the hive and without disturbing the bees. It's something we've been working on for a decade and we're nearly at the point where we can tell you all about it. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's honey on tap. I've spent hours taking honey out of hives and this, this, this system is just blows my mind. I mean, to be able to turn a tap and have honey flow out, that's gold. You can't get much better than that. I tell you, I was very excited too when it actually worked. <laughs> when I actually put the tubes in and watched the honey come out, I was sitting there going, what? <laughs> I was completely amazed and surprised at the amount of honey that came out. It was easy to use and there was very little disturbance to the whole hive. Look at that drizzle straight out of the hive. This is as fresh as honey could possibly be. We will have this invention live on Kickstarter on the 23rd and we really need your help to get the word out there, to build a buzz and build a community of beekeepers around the globe. Keeping bees in an entirely new way. If you'd like to support us, like our Facebook page, join our mailing list. Картинка за 30 секунд. Картинка за 30 секунд назад. Вот он уже сделал. У него Она делает не за три минуты. Я э, минута тридцать секунд а, уже вторую это делала. Причем одна. Какие красивые получаются. Go. 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 Go.
God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house.